Is the word disability or disabled offensive? Here are my thoughts. Hey JC Fibers, what's going on? So this is a video response to Kayla with the C's video where she talks about the same topic. Kayla is a visually impaired YouTuber and she posts some pretty cool videos talking about her experience being a visually impaired YouTuber and just being visually impaired in general. Now before I go any further, these are my thoughts, my opinions. If you happen to disagree with them, put them in the comments below. If you want to add to the conversation, put it in the comments below as well. Is the word disabled or disability offensive? It's not. Now the reason why I don't think it's offensive is because a lot of people use that word. A lot of folks with disabilities say that they're disabled and they don't have any problem with it. What I think is the problem is able-bodied people who may be putting something negative onto the word. Because when you think about it, when you tell someone who's able-bodied that this person has a disability, most likely a negative picture will come up. Maybe a person who's incapable of doing anything, maybe just a person who is miserable all the time, stuff like that. This could be for two reasons actually. One of them being that a lot of able-bodied folks just are afraid to talk to people who are disabled. I think they're afraid that if they say something wrong, if they say something that's considered offensive, that they won't be able to talk to them, or they just simply don't know how to start a conversation with someone who's disabled without pointing the disability out. The second reason being that because of that, I think a lot of people who are able-bodied, they tend to use terms which may be outdated or are actually offensive. Case in point, for someone like me who can't see well, I would accept the term visually impaired or blind. The problem is that if you're talking to someone who's deaf or hard of hearing, that's what they prefer, deaf or hard of hearing, not hearing impaired, which was acceptable a while back, but not anymore. Or someone who has like cognitive disabilities, things like that, you are not going to use the R word. I'm not going to say it, but unfortunately it's, that term was acceptable a while back, but now it's considered very offensive. So I think those two are major contributors as to why some people think that the word disabled or disability is negative. I think because of this, they try to compensate by making other words like differently abled or handy capable. The thing is that it doesn't really work because even though you you have the best intentions with those words, it still causes the word, the original word disabled to be negative. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, yes, I can do some things. I'm not completely incapable of doing anything, but I'm still I'm still blind. I can't drive a car. I can't do a lot of things that fully sighted people can. So yes, I am disabled. Okay, hold on a second. Voice over me over here. Okay, so I just wanted to correct myself real quick. There's quite a few things that sighted people can do that I can also do, but there's also some things that sighted people can do that I cannot do. So I just wanted to correct myself. I think another problem with this whole making things positive is the whole twisting the meaning of being disabled. Like case in point, when people say you don't look blind, you don't look disabled. It's like, I know they mean well when they say that, but the problem is that the whole negative connotation. So, so are you trying to say that just because I don't look disabled because I'm smiling, I'm having a good time, you know, am I supposed to be completely miserable the entire time? I mean, is, is that something disabled people are supposed to do? I mean, there's able-bodied people who have, who are having bad days, who are going through tough times. I mean, they're, they're feeling miserable too. I mean, does that change the fact that they're able-bodied? No, I mean, we're all human. We have different ranges of emotions. We feel different things. Some of us may be having good days. Some of us may be having bad days. So while the intentions were good, it's maybe best not to say, you don't look this, you don't look that, because it's just, you're, you're kind of insulting everybody else in the process. Although what Kayla does say in her video is that we, as in us who are disabled, we do have to cut people some slack who don't understand these terms because if they don't really engage with people who are disabled unless they have a family member or a friend who is, they won't really know what to use. Don't quickly try to take offense if they happen to use a term that isn't very acceptable. What I want to say is don't let the meaning of a word completely kill off a conversation that is going to happen. Correct them, let them know that maybe that's not the best word or term to use and just 
and get on with the conversation. And it's not just for able-bodied people to disabled people, this is also for people with disabilities themselves. Like in my case, I am not wheelchair bound, I am not deaf, I don't have chronic pain, but it does help me to educate myself a little bit better because, well, I'm able to understand other folks with disabilities better. So I'm not just stuck in my own little visually impaired disability bubble, not realizing what everybody else is feeling like. I think a little bit of empathy can go a long way. That's what I'm trying to say here. So thank you, Kayla, for talking about this. I think this was an awesome topic. And yeah, like I said, go check out her channel. Hopefully I did a good job in explaining this because she did a really good job in explaining it in her video. Like I said, link up here or in the description below. Oh, and if you want to check out my IGTV, I have an IGTV. And if you go there right now, I posted a video talking about the troubles I have of watching the World Cup when I'm visually impaired because it, it's a little challenging watching soccer when you're visually impaired. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.